The red grouper is a species of grouper found in the western Atlantic Ocean and Gulf of Mexico, ranging from North Carolina to Brazil. Red grouper are prized for their firm white meat, which is mild and sweet. They can live up to 25 years and grow to be more than 3 feet in length and weigh up to 50 pounds. The preferred bait for red grouper are smaller fish, dead or alive, squid, or artificial baits like slow pitch jigs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find and catch red grouper using the right bait, gear, and your fish finder. Red grouper are bottom dwelling fish and are typically found in depths of 60 to 240 feet on rocky bottoms, coral reefs, and ledges. They are a key component of many marine ecosystems and play an important role in maintaining the health and balance of these systems. So I got a red grouper right here in structure. Let's see if I can pull them out. Oh, got him out. Yeah, you're mine, buddy. Oh, that's a good one. Red grouper are listed as a species of least concern. Before we start on the 2024 regulations, I need to let everyone know what happened in 2023. In 2023, we had the shortest red grouper season we have ever had here in the Gulf of Mexico. They closed this amazing fishery on July 21st because according to NOAA fisheries, we were projected to hit our quota. In my opinion, they should have never closed this fishery or at least not this early. There are a plentiful amount of red grouper down here in Southwest Florida. If you guys did not know, the way they calculate our allowable recreational red grouper quota is by multiplying the number of fishing days in the year by the number of fishing licenses purchased in the state. If that is not the most backwards way of calculating fishing quota, I don't know what is. I don't want to make this whole video about the 2023 closure, but just use it as a warning sign of what might happen in 2024. You guys can tell me your thoughts below about the 2023 closure, but I don't agree with it. So let's jump into the regs. Red grouper size is 20 inches and the limit is two per person. You also have to keep within the four grouper aggregate, meaning you cannot keep two reds, two blacks, and a scamp or any other type of grouper. It has to be under four of all grouper species per person. The season will open today, January 1st, and also be aware of the 20 fathom line for February and March. This means you legally cannot fish for red grouper, I'm not sure about possess, so past 20 fathoms from February 1st to March 31st. The coordinates are on screen here, but I will also put a link below to all of these rules and regulations that I'm talking about. For the Atlantic, red grouper are three per person at 20 inches within the three grouper aggregate, and that season is open May 1st to December 31st. The rest of the video talks about how I find and catch red grouper in the Gulf of Mexico, so stay tuned. We are starting our adventure in southwest Florida on Marco Island and we are heading offshore. Join us as we venture over 80 miles into the depths of over 130 feet of water. Usually the further you go out, the bigger red grouper you will find. I find the best fish start at around 100 feet with bigger ones in deeper water. Before we jump into the video, if you could take a minute to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Red grouper live most often on hard bottom, which you can find all over the ocean. In the Gulf of Mexico, there is a chart that Strike Lines makes called the Hard Bottom HD. Click the link below and use discount code FFA10 for 10% off. You can see here we are marking hard bottom, which is in dark red on my chart plotter. This is on a whole thread fin. I'm gonna pull this out. Feel big? It's okay, but he's pulling a bit. I wonder what it is then. I don't see him yet. You got a little bit to go. No, I don't want to Yeah, a little bit to go. Oh, I see him down there. What are. What is it? Um, it might be an AJ or a red. Keep him coming. I think it might be a nice red. Yeah, nice red. Nice red. Yeah, bring him up. Keep them coming. Nice red grouper. Nice fish. Keeper? Yeah. Keep them coming. Nice fish. That is a big red. Yeah. 
That's a good one. You need to use an accurate trolling motor or you can drift over these fish. On a, the smaller spots, a trolling motor really helps you stay on top of the red grouper. So I got a red grouper right here. He's in structure. Let's see if I can pull him out. Oh, got him out. Yeah, you're mine, buddy. Yep, this is a good one. Oh, he's out. He's out and he's mine. Yep, you're a good one, buddy. This guy out of that structure right there. Another keeper red grouper. You need quite a bit of drag on your reel to stop a red grouper from getting into structure and to be able to pull them off the bottom. I use a pen slammer with 40 pounds of drag on my spinning reel and a Shimano Italica for my conventional reel. So we just uh, pulled up to this strike line spot. It's a pothole I've never fished here before and we are definitely starting to mark a good mound of fish. So we're gonna drop some baits and see what we got. You having trouble? You got him, Uncle Barry. He's got one. You got him. This is a grouper. Oh yeah, it is. Nice fish. It didn't even make it to the bottom. Oh, there we go. Nice fish, Dad. Come on, Barry. He's moving on. You can put that one up top. What's that? Hey, Brent. Right. I got the blue thing out. You want to put it on? Yeah, you That's... need it. Oh, baby, yeah. I got the net. You need it? Here, watch out. You got it? Yeah. I'll get the net. I'll net his fish. He's got a ways to go, though, I think. Yeah? Oh, right, he's finding them. Keep them coming. How's he feeling, Uncle Barry? Feeling good? Is this number two? He's loosening up. I don't think he's that good. No, that it's a nice red. I see him. Red grouper stop fighting. They do. Yeah, it, this one kind of just you know. Yeah, it's there after a little while. It's a nice red, Dad. You have a net? Oh, I got the net. Keep him coming. Whoa! Look at this fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice job, Uncle Barry. Season. Huh? When is the grouper season? Oh. Hold on. Wow, he's just barely hooked. That's how easy the hook came out. So red grouper are 20 inches to keep, and it's two per person size limit right now. I zoom my chart plotter into 4 or 8x so I can see just the bottom. And when you're on plane and it's calm out, just change your chart plotter scroll speed to high so you can see the bottom as you're moving along going fast. And yeah. time to put this guy on. Right here. So we hook him through the bottom of his lip, and he comes out through the top of the lip, just like this. Big grunt. What happened? Yeah, see? You, oh, oh, wait. Hold on, it's a big bait. Drop, drop back down, drop back down. I feel something on him. 
Yeah. 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 Yep. He's on there. And you're stop. Stop. Exactly. Stop. Oh. Yes, he's on. You get one, man. Oh yeah, he's not moving. No. No. Let me move this out of the way. It's almost like a snag. I guess he could have gotten you in a snag. It feels like. See real quick. I guess he could. I think he did get you in a piece of structure. Ah. Or I no, no, no. He's out. He's out. It's a fish. Nice. It's a big grouper, and he got you in structure. Okay. So mm -hmm. get the, no, get that ready. Get that ready. Get that ready. So this um this grouper got us in structure. So. We're gonna play the banjo on them when it's tight. And then we're gonna go full drag and rip them out of the structure, okay? Let's do it. This is all you. All right, pull up and see if you can get them out. If the feel head shakes. Reel, 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 reel. He's out, he's out, he's out, reel him. Get him, get him, he's out, reel him, reel him. Yes, he's out, yes, just keep reeling. For the next minute, just reel, 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 reel. Reel, 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 that's all you gotta do is reel right now. Just come on, pump and reel, pump and reel. He's almost off. He's almost off. All right, you got you got him. You can ease up. He's off. Ease up. Just real slow. This is a really big fish. Really big fish. Just ease up. Just just reel. You don't even need to pump. It's, it's conventional. You don't need to pump. Just reel him. Just reel him right now. Keep tension on him. Okay. Yep. Keep tension on him. Oh, he's kicking. He's almost there. Oh my God, it's a massive one. <laughs> oh baby, is that a grouper? Yes, it's a giant red grouper. Oh, oh yes. Get him, Uncle Barry. Yes. Woo! Oh, look at this, Jake. Jesus oh, wow. Christ. That is a really, really big fish. That's the biggest one I've seen since my 3D inches. That could be 38. There we go. Man, you listened to me and you did it. You did, did it. it. On each new spot you find, the bigger reds will usually bite first. I usually don't stay at a spot longer than half an hour if I'm just looking for a red grouper. I most often use a knocker rig with 60 pound or heavier leader and a three ounce weight or bigger, depending on how I'm holding bottom. Then I put on a seven ounce circle hook or bigger if you're going for bigger grouper. And then usually about 50 to 60 pound braid. When looking at your chart plotter above the hard bottom, the thicker the orange or red you see means the red grouper are tight together. And if you see blue or green above those marks, that will mean there is bait or snapper above them. Red grouper usually do hang in schools, so once you find one, you will find more in the same area. Oh my uh, yeah, this is on a chunk. So, I feel them on the line right now. Come on, Dad. You got you got to reel them. It's not in. It's not in there. You got to reel them. Come on. You got to reel them. You got to have to do it without it. Come on, just get them. Turn them. Oh, this is a good grouper. No, don't. I wouldn't go full drag on them, but it's up to you. You want me to take him for a minute, Dad? Yeah, take him for a minute. All right. <clears throat> wow, that's a big. Yes. This is a good grouper. We're gonna need the net. Jake, take the last chunk. Yeah, this is good. This is the one we've been looking for. Not bad. Not as, not as bad as mine. Not yet. <laughs> you see him yet? No. Ooh. He's not coming. Uh, a no. little bit. Ooh. Yeah, I see him. Yeah. Oh, wait, that doesn't look like a grouper. Yeah, it's a big red. I know, I know my grouper. That's a big red grouper. That's a huge I know my grouper. Can't tell how big he is. Yeah, he's, he's, he's over 30. He's massive because he's over 30. It's, it's a fire, it's a fire truck. Far away. Closer to me. Wow. 
Look at the size of that puppy. Ooh, nice fish. Grouper. That is a massive grouper. Oh, nice fish. You measure them? Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Look at that. You hooked them. Or just red grouper. Big. We have room in that locker? All right. Yeah. Hold up to a new spot. Drop down that thready. Another strike line spot. Yeah. And there's definitely fish all over. Probably around my area, but I'm not selling that. There he is. He's right back. What are we doing? Reeling? What's the best thing to do here? Pump and reel. Oh, that's huge. Oh, baby. Pump and reel. Yep, there you go. Pump and reel. There you go. Pump and reel. He's learning. Well, guys, learning. I love it. Pump and reel. That's him. That's the one we've been looking for, right? Jake it. 140 feet is a lot. Matthew, <laughs> you're getting smoked, Matthew. I Am think. I? Yeah, I think you're getting. Yeah, I got. Yeah. Give me that. I got. I got it. You're getting smoked, Matthew. Oh, it's a good rat. I see him. Get him in. Bring him in. Got you on one. He was on there. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good red. Nice red. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, yeah, there we go. Two more. Oh, nice, look at that. Not okay. bad. Very nice. Oh, well, that's number eight. Bring him in, Jake. That's number eight. There we go. Oh. Come on, he's digging. Get him in. Don't let him pull off. Ooh, don't, right. don't fall. Trampling you already did the hard part. You got him off the bottom. That's yep. True. Yeah, he, I think. It's definitely a red grouper then. We have room in this box. You see him yet? Oh, I just saw it. That's a good fish, man. Oh, that's not a bad one. It's a nice red. Oh, there he is. Nice fish, man. All right, I gotta get ice on these guys. Woo! Nice red grouper. Right. There we go. I'm gonna throw on slight jig head with some squid. See what's down there. Another strike line spot. As a self-taught fisherman, it took me a while to find out how to catch red grouper. So I hope you can take some of these tips and put them into practice for yourself. Good luck and tight lines.